Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The thunderclouds are coming over, the sun's going in so I'm going to be quick. Today's video is only a short video. It's on one find from the Chroma Dump which is located close to the pyramids. Now this find is, in my opinion, the worst ancient Egyptian sculpture I've ever seen. But I'll let you be the judge of that. It's at least Old Kingdom, it may be older, but well, we don't really know a great deal. Watch the video, please enjoy, leave a comment and do subscribe. Thank you. From pre-dynastic times to the Old Kingdom to the New, the ancient Egyptians have been known for their amazing stonework. Their precision cuts to exquisite detail and the perfect finish. But in my new, old book, the 1978 excavation report of the Chroma Dump, a trash heap just south of the Giza pyramids created in the Old Kingdom, I found what I would suggest is the worst ever ancient Egyptian sculpture on record. And here comes the big reveal. Look at it. No wonder it was found in a dump. Ok, maybe I'm being a bit harsh, or maybe I'm on point, but someone has basically etched a very crude face into a mud brick. Imprecise, terrible detail and the worst possible finish. On finding it, archaeologist Carl Cromer was surprised, because, as he says, in this early period every image of a human face has certainly been associated with a magical meaning. So, what could be the meaning of this? Well, just because a country had rituals, beliefs and customs, it doesn't mean that everyone adhered to them. As we know, humans don't always follow the rules, and behind closed doors in the times of ancient Egypt, I bet not everyone shared or practiced the beliefs of their overlords. Maybe someone had an old flint knife blade and was doodling on a mud brick. A child maybe. Or maybe someone had an enemy, and they did believe in the magical rites and rituals, and this was their way of getting back at them. Or maybe this was the face of a much-loved family member or friend, created by an unskilled person with no wealth, who did his or her best to etch their face in stone to keep them alive forever. We can laugh at the design, but if the latter interpretation is correct, they succeeded because this face has survived at least four and a half thousand years, and I don't know about you, but as much as I love the beautiful stone statues fit for royalty, there's something about this that's just, well, beautiful. It's more social history, something created by an average person, and it's showing how people would draw a human face in days gone by. For once we're not looking at a sculpture created by amazing stonemasons employed by royalty. Many of us simply can't draw. This is how we portray a human. And in those days, maybe the common way to draw a human face was ovals for eyes, a triangular nose and a curved line for a mouth. At least the face is smiling. I do hope that this is on display in a museum somewhere, because I'm sure it would get so much attention, far more than the creator ever thought it would get. Well, it's thundering and lightning, it's absolutely chucking it down. I hope you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe, please like the video and I'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.